Hello, it's Jimmy O'Reilly. I have a new tool here to look at. It is a Launch SmartLink D01. Okay, we've got the case open. So this is what we're looking at. We have the unit there. Everything's all nice and sealed up. Inside the doors here, we've got the cables, instruction manual, user manual, charging cable. So let's pull the wrapper off. That's what we have here. Nice shiny unit. And we got the smart iSmart EV box here. Okay, let's get this plugged into a vehicle. And we have it powering up. Okay, we have a Volvo vehicle here, we can get it connected up to. So on the back of the unit here, you can see it's got a camera and it's got a nice sturdy stand here that we can place it on the steering wheel with. So let's get it loaded up. Screen's on. Okay, we'll start to have a look through some of the items that we got here. So we've got ADAS calibration, anti-theft. Uh, diagnose special functions updates reports remote diagnose feature there feedback toolbox settings personal center and others i think first of all we'll just go straight into diagnose right we can see here we've got plenty of different brands to choose from let's just have a scroll through You can probably notice by this, some of these on here, we've got HD models, which is trucks, basically. Um, so it does also, so your passenger cars and your heavy duty trucks, common American, European. So we'll find Volvo on here. We'll press OK. Okay, it needs an update. It's the first time I've used it. Okay, so we've done the update. So we'll do an automatic search. You can see we've got the same sort of topology system as the other uh, launch units. So I think we'll go with pressing a smart scan that will just run through the whole system. Let's just see how long that takes. Okay, so it looks like we're all finished. So we've got some battery errors here. Unidentified codes. Let's have a look in the ECM. So we know we've got no fault codes here. So we'll press back. Have a look at the data stream. See what we can look at. We've got all of these different items here. Engine speed, oil pressure, gear positions, fuel pump, misfire detections. Let's see if you press some of these, might be a little bit interesting. And then if we start the vehicle up, we should see some live data. So we can see that the misfires aren't counting up, which is a good sign, so it means we're not misfiring. Uh, let's go back, see what else we can look at on here. 
So just here we have actuation tests. Um, mm, enable, disable the lights. It doesn't seem like there's much there we can do on that. Yes, we'll end at that. Uh, we'll have a look in this section, diesel engine systems, actuation tests. So we've got the same there. Special functions, we've got this option on here now. Combustion of the soot particles, so you can do a forced regen basically. Adaption of the pressure sensor and particle filter. Uh, you got the power pulse system. Reset adaptives of the turbo, so we can do all of that and reset the Nox reductant, so that's for the AdBlue. So again, where this differs from a lot of other diagnostic scan tools is if you press the HD button up here, you've got all of the trucks that you can use it on. Uh, Scania, Man, you got some of the American ones there, Detroit, Freightliner, Mercedes-Benz, Volvo, Scan, Scania, Renault, and again, some of the other American ones, Peterbilt, Mack, and Kenworth. Uh, let's click on the special functions, see what options we've got here for that. We have all of these, oil resets, AC system relearn, DPF reset, high voltage battery, gas particulate filter, Intelligent Cruise, Knox Reset for AdBlue. Let's go back. Let's see where else we can look. Um, so you've got a remote diagnose feature, which I'm not going to go into. That's a little bit, takes a bit of time to sort that out. Uh, toolbox. You can add an, an oscilloscope. Not sure what that looks like. Um, one of those little digital tread gauges. Multimeter, current clamp, video scope. Insulation test, so there's a few items that you can add onto it. And of course, they'd be plugged in via the USB port. Settings, just the same sort of settings you'd get on a phone. Personal center, others. So it's got an internet browser on it. Okay, we're now in a commercial vehicle here, my own VW Crafter. And one thing I'd like to straight away point out is there's your USB port and we have a USB-C charging capability on this unit which is very handy. So again here we'll have a quick little look around. Again we have this anti-theft so immobilizer programming. Um, not something I've ever used before but the option is there for those who do know about that. Uh, ADAS calibration, again not something I've used yet. I suppose we'll pick on that, but we haven't got the compatible ADAS soft, um, hardware here to go with it. Well, let's just cancel that back. So let's try a scan on this vehicle. We'll try an auto detect. Now this is a commercial, so these can be a little bit more difficult to do on auto detect. Let's see if that works. Okay, we're in. We'll do a smart scan. So it looks like it's taking a little bit longer on the van than it was on the car. Seems to be taking its time going through each module a little bit longer. Now of course the problem is with most of these on the commercial, it doesn't really ha actually have it. So that's why it took so long searching for that. It doesn't have a transmission control, it's not an automatic, it's a manual. Um, some of these things, you can see there where it's greyed out, that means it's, it's not, not equipped. 
We've got the list up here at the top. So again, if we go to special functions, we've got all of these options here. So basically we went through most of the normal stuff that you usually look at on a scan tool like this. Um, I'll try to put a link where you can buy this in the description. Um, I think these are currently going at around about 18.95 with UK support from Launch UK. Um, so we're just about finished on the video and I'll see you on our next one.